yeah, I might look crazy right now, but it's because I'm speaking real stuff. Like, I don't need to get on camera to look like this beautiful person to go and speak the truth and speak from my heart. Guys, don't mind me. I look super ugly right now. But I just wanted to say that I'm super stoked because I literally put out 30 days worth of content within a few days like because I love YouTube like I'm here to stay but it's the fact that like when you like when life happens and then you get um a little bit sidetracked or whatever and you don't have any time to like you know um post or anything or whatever you don't feel like recording and I'm, I'm hype about that like that's literally dope like and like I said I'm not stopping I'm here to stay but anyways um I have a little headache right now a migraine it is now um and I gotta stop seeing whatever and like and um but I don't know it just stuck with me and I, I just have to stop like see I did it again but anyways um I'm about to get up, do my, well, shower again, do my hair. It's Friday. It's the evening. It's like probably like six something. Um, and I'm about to do my hair, put out some more content for you guys. Like, it's boring. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do on this Friday, but I know it's supposed to be a rainy weekend. So, yeah. Like I said, don't cut my ass because I don't care about how I look right now. Like, it don't matter. Like, because I know when I look good, I look good, hunty. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Oh, and another thing that I want to say, like, that I'm so happy about also um, is that, like, I literally left I said I was leaving social media alone, but I was just only going to stay on YouTube and TikTok. I literally feel like social media should only be used. Well, I can't really say it like that because then I will sound like kind of judgmental. Um, I'm scared to move the camera down because I don't even have any clothes on. But, um, so I have to keep it like this. But I kind of feel like social media should only be used for a benefit. Like, it shouldn't be to, like, well, I can't even say it shouldn't be to vent, to vent or whatever, because, like, I kind of, like, use YouTube sometimes to vent, and, like, I've been wanting to talk a lot, like, you know, to YouTube or whatever, but, you know, share my story and stuff, but, like, I don't know, with Facebook, I literally deactivated my page the other day, like, last week, so whoever's watching this if you're family friends whatever like i didn't block you like i just deactivated like there's too much going on on facebook like there's friends up there subbing so friends like it's too many people like i gotta i gotta i do gotta block some people i gotta clean my play um i gotta clean out my um my friend list and i'm gonna do that like a lot of a lot of y'all are gonna get blocked like i'm letting i'm letting the world know like a lot of you are gonna get blocked like i'm gonna i'm gonna block a lot of people and i'm gonna say the reason why too because i see a lot of haters up there like like i be seeing people like when i was walking in the hood i saw somebody that's on my facebook page like and i don't know like if she felt the type of way we blocked her from another page i didn't even know i had her on two pages but i blocked her because i saw like something like along the lines or whatever somebody saying like even though like yeah i know they'd be like oh like if they not talking to you, like it doesn't um apply, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, whatever. But I feel like Shorty was taking shots or whatever because, like um, basically the person said, oh why do y'all come up here on social media and y'all bras and stuff or whatever, like blah blah blah. Like first of all, who you talking to? Like um like I I, I don't know like I just feel like that was a shot thrown like and I do come on social media like sometimes I do be in my bra. Sometimes I do be in short shorts so or whatever. Like, like y'all need to stop hating on, like, younger girls than y'all. Like, because let people get a chance to grow up or whatever. Like, 
it ain't i'm not hurting anybody if you don't like it just scroll by like like why do people like feel the need to tell other people what to do with their lives like i don't like stuff like that so like i block shorty like and then um on top of that like come on like if my man ain't saying nothing saying anything about it like he knows everything that i post if my man ain't saying nothing then nobody should not even be saying anything like but um i maybe she could have probably not been talking to me or whatever like but i feel like if i see any type of negativity or whatever any i, I know sometimes i could be negative too like sometimes i could like just feel like you know like i'm having a bad day or whatever which i shouldn't do go to social media and just start talking crap or whatever but like sometimes i see it like it's like it becomes a constant thing with people so yeah so i blocked the um the trick i don't want to curse or whatever because but then like but I, I go back on like social media like on facebook or whatever because i don't really use my facebook like that um and i i really don't even like be on people pages or whatever like it's only like once in a while i go on my timeline and then I see like something like um like I see the, the the same person's face like I'm I'm thinking to my mom like hold up like didn't I just block you? So like for me like that made, that gave me confirmation that my page is being monitored and watched because like like you I literally just blocked you after you wrote some crazy stuff and then now like you pop up on my timeline again on another page of yours. And that's another thing too. Like I, I don't like when people try to add me from two pages. Like stop trying to add me from two pages. I do not want y'all on two pages of my on 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 my Facebook. Like what do you, what do you need me on two pages for? And the most of the people that add me, they don't even interact with me or like my stuff. Like, well, that particular person that I blocked, yeah, they they were interacting with my stuff or whatever. But like when I saw Shorty, she, I was literally with my child and she um. Like, it was like, she grilled me, like, like, I don't know, like, she gave a, like, dirty look, and, like, my, I, I put a dirty look back so that my daughter, my, my, my baby girl, she was like, wait, mom, like, cause she, I guess, I don't know, like, she saw my face, and then she was like, what happened, and I just explained to my daughter, because my daughter is, like, old enough to know, like, you know, things now, whatever, so I just explained to her, like, exactly what I just explained to you guys, and then she's like, oh, like, my daughter was like, oh, like, yeah, like, she was just trying to tell me, like, it's okay mom like or whatever like and um yeah so so yeah like i just like don't like facebook anymore like and I, until i get all of the people that i grew up with and that i like you know from my neighborhood until i get all of those sorty mo i'm not gonna say all but most of them until i get most of those sorty um people off of my page that i grew up with in the hood and a lot of them are girls are females until I get them off of my page, like, I don't want to be on social media. Like, I don't care who, how we feel about anything. Do not, like, like if, if, this, if I block you on social media, the same applies in the street. Like, if you were sitting there, like, talking stuff, like, talking crap, don't add me on social media. Like, don't, like, don't look for me. Don't ask about me. And keep it like that in the streets or whatever. Like, it's no, nothing personal. I just don't, I'm just not with the negativity or whatever. Like, and... Yeah, like, I just want to be happy. Like, I don't want to be jumping on my timeline and seeing somebody mad at somebody, like, all the time. Like, seeing horrible things about people. Like, that hate and stuff, like, it's just, like, crazy. Like, like that's just a projection. You're just projecting your negativity on someone else. Like, so. So, yeah, that part. I just wanted to say that. And I'm going to be doing a video, too, soon. Because I wanted to talk about, um... I want us to start my journey on my, um, I'm getting a breast reduction and a lift. And that's going to be, I don't even really want to say the date when, but it's going to be soon. Like, I don't know, maybe in a year or probably less or whatever. And I'm going to, um, I don't know if it's going to be in Miami or New York, New York. So, um, I'm going to talk about that. I know I will see my doctor this week, the doctor my potential doctor i don't want to say my doctor yet but i really love this doctor i want to put up some pictures too um you know like and discuss like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do that that's a whole nother video whatever but yeah stay tuned guys thank you for watching make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and thank um some even to my haters thank you for watching too like
y'all all y'all all everybody get love like so yeah and another thing i wanted to share is like when you feel like nervous or like hesitant to like post something because you're so worried about what other people are gonna think of you like let them laugh let them let them kiki kaka let them do whatever like because at the end of the day like as long as you know that this is what you want to do then you do it like today my daughter she told me mommy like you really inspired me to like want to do youtube again like because and i was like boo -boo, like i got this from you like i was like oh like because we was on this since she was a baby like she always loved being on camera so if musically we we was on this before mu tiktok was um tiktok we when tiktok was musically so like to hear that from my baby like oh like yeah mommy like you inspired me blah 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 like that was like a big deal to me because it's like i'm not being afraid and she literally inspires me like i love looking at her like because she is so beautiful so it's like i just want to just document every single last moment in life like and you know to have things to like go back and look on like so like i said whoever feels like you know like people are gonna look at you like you're crazy or this or that or that like let the mother effers laugh let them laugh let them laugh let them kiki let them kaka let them cuckoo like do whatever because at the end of the day like ain't nobody gonna live your life but you like that's so that's that's why a lot of people now are in a crabs in a bucket mentality now because like there are so many people that just wants to just bring each other down instead of you know lift each other up and encourage each other like you like this chick wrote on um social media oh i thought um a lot of you um a lot half of y'all itches didn't even um talking about starting a business for half of y'all life now in my mind i'm like wow like that is so judgmental because at the, i'm not perfect but at the end of the day that's like a low blow because who are you talking about like most of most of the people that people have on social media are their own friends and family so who could you be talking about um secondly um this is why people don't like to share their business with with their friends or people that they're close to because look you see so whoever shared that business with her and i look at look at how you talk down on people that you so-called think so-called supposed to love or they supposed to so-called love you look at how look at look at how disgusting and nasty you decide to be towards people you so-called love like that is like just crazy behavior and to me that is like you're miserable and you're just mad so you just decide to go to facebook and start um trying to make everyone else feel worthless like talking about oh it doesn't matter how many degrees you got and calling people worthless like because why because you didn't make it to where you needed to be in life or whatever so that means that you have to go and make other people feel down too like that is terrible like I, I would not want that type of energy around me or my child that is why like when god said when you when you ask god to open your mind about um to open your heart and open your mind and reveal who people truly are and their true colors and god does that for you like you cannot overlook that like we're too grown to be first of all we are too grown to be overlooking stuff like i don't want them type of friends around me because at the end of the day like that's how people get hurt having like literally jealous people around them and imagine you taking someone with you to where you need to go or helping them um and this is how they truly feel about you like that is why like i am so happy like when i pray people out of my life and god starts revealing people to me you need to pay attention to that because that is very important another thing i wanted to share is that just because like people go on social that's why you cannot believe everything that you see on social media because 
just because a person posts their happiness on social media you can never know what's going on behind closed doors like you never know what someone is going through just because i'm not sitting there showing that i'm, I'm going through you know showing my pain on social media do you know how many doors done closed on me you know how many times people done said no to me you know like certain things or whatever but i never let it show like i never went to well yeah sometimes i do let social media get the best of me but i never will go and try to put someone else down because of what i'm going through like because i know my time is gonna come and i know how much work i put into the universe you, um when it comes to myself like i know what i put in so i know that one day my time is gonna come as i just have to continue to be patient i'm not just gonna go and you know like bash other people and make them feel down or try to hurt anyone like i said by no means i am not perfect like i have like you know every no one's perfect like everyone has done something in their life that like they probably would never ever say out in the open no one's perfect but people just need to like tread lightly when it comes to like people that are trying to change their life around and do good for themselves because at the end of the day like do you think you think i'm not hurting like i'm hurting too like just because i don't show it doesn't mean like i'm not hurting like i hurt every day like imagine like you going to school for something wasting four years of your life to be turned around and you try to get a dream job and be told no and then you're just scrambling like oh like what am i going to do next what am i going to do next and you're concerned or worried about your future and always having anxiety and staying up till three in the morning like no one like i'm, I'm sure there's people who probably like have gone through that before but a lot of people don't know what that feels like because i could have been doing anything else in the world like i could have been still in the hood doing messed up things you know doing ratchet things just wasting my time and being a waste of life but I didn't. I chose to continue to keep moving forward and continue to, you know, keeping my head above water. So just because a person posts happy things on social media, that's just, you know, sometimes that is just a defense mechanism. And that's just like trying to show people like that you're all right or I'm okay. Like, because that's what I like to do sometimes. And... A lot of people like don't like that like but you don't know you never know what someone is going through behind closed doors that's why i know that i am not born to fit in where i came from because i feel like i'm so understanding but i'm super misunderstood and that's okay that is fine that's completely fine but i know that if i have to get someone out of my space that's messing with my spirit or my energy i will most definitely will